And welcome back to Hannity. We're on the ground in Israel tonight. My next guest is a retired military general who spent much of his career in IDF intelligence and joining me now on set with his take on Israel operation against the terror group Hamas in Gaza is Director General of the Israeli Ministry of Strategic Air Affairs, Yossi Cooperbesser is with us. General, how are you, sir? Nice to see you. Thank you. All right, so since we've been here, one of the most fascinating things is what is right behind me. Explain the level of sophistication where you have nine operational iron domes, 3,200 rockets fired. Tell us how that works. Well, this is uh, really a miracle, this uh, system which enables us to hit short-range, medium-range rockets right. uh, with uh, the logic of being able to hit only those rockets who are about to hit a target inside our cities. Not but only main cities, but also smaller cities. Hmm. And uh, to avoid the, the damage that can be uh, uh, happening if those rockets hit. One has to remember, in this operation alone, the Hamas has launched more than 3,000 rockets. About 500 of them were knocked down by the Iron Dome. We have nine batteries uh, deployed uh, all over Israel. That covers Israel. the whole country, Look, the, pretty much. Most of, the, most of the country, the relevant areas of the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, 500 were knocked down. Just, you know, everybody speaks about what happened, what's happening in Gaza. Mm. What would have happened in Israel without these uh, batteries? If 500 rockets that would have hit uh, populated areas, we would have now something like 2,000 dead people. But, but those, those nine operational Iron Domes, they talk to each other. How do they determine so quickly, within seconds, whether or not it's going to hit a densely pop populated area or not? They calculate the, the way the rocket is going to make. And the trajectory. Project the trajectory, and uh, they know which battery should take yeah. uh, care of which uh, rocket. Mm -hmm. And uh, immediately, it's all computerized, of course, Immediately they reach a point where they have to make a decision whether to shoot it or not, according to the... Uh, and it makes its own decision. It's not like somebody's making... All right, here's the, the biggest question I have. You may have as many as 100 tunnels, and we were at the tunnels earlier today. We're at the, we have the Iron Dome behind us. We were at another Iron Dome location earlier today. We're in these tunnels. It is so sophisticated, and that's, by the way, the entrance. It's about 50, 60 feet down below the earth. Mm -hmm. And you go inside there and it's tall it's reinforced they have tracks so they can get things in and out meaning weaponry uh you keep hearing ceasefire ceasefire why would you have a ceasefire if those tunnels continue to exist which is a guarantee that they're going to continue what they're doing first of all they're not going to continue to exist we you just managed to take care of most of them and we you are think going so? to finish of most of yeah and we are we are about to finish uh, taking care of all of those we are aware of before we leave gaza uh, or probably tonight and uh, if there are some left we cannot guarantee that there's none left mm -hmm. uh, it's much less than what Hamas had uh, prepared for so many years uh, lately and the idea of Hamas was to have this as a strategic asset that would enable them to infiltrate into Israel and to carry out uh, major terror attacks yeah. in this war they have lost this strategic asset as a, matter, as a matter of fact yeah. when you when you look at the fact that Hamas is ready now to have a ceasefire you have to ask yourself why? Why are they ready to, to do it now when they could have had the because same ceasefire about three weeks ago? Here's my question. And the, the answer is exactly always, as you said, uh, they're but, losing. But I've always admired Israel's defense capabilities. You go back to 48, 67, 73, and even in recent years. An incredible defense record of which you spent your entire career. Did you not know that this vast tunnel network existed? No, we knew that this uh, tunnel yeah. uh, existed. And uh, maybe we were not aware of every and each one of them, but we knew that the system is there. Mm. And uh, if we didn't know about it, mm. even three weeks were not enough to take care of them because just looking for them on the ground is very difficult. Right. We had the information that led us directly to the pier, to the entrances to those uh, tunnels mm. and enabled us to, in those three weeks to take care of uh, the tunnels. General, we got to run. Thank you. It's an honor to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you for everything. Appreciate Thank you being with us. And coming up, the rise of anti-Semitism and radical Islam, both of them spreading across the globe. Well, does the rest of the world need to wake up to what's really happening where we are in Israel and how to deal with radical Islamists? We're going to speak to somebody who knows as we continue from Israel, it's Hannity.